Hey guys, so last week we started a new series and we started by talking about how every single one of us belongs to different groups. Like that group could be iPhone or Android, that group could be Ironwood, CDO, Mountain View, it could be band, it could be sports. All of us belong to these different groups in our lives based on things that we do alike, based on what school we go to, whatever it might be. And it makes sense because human beings were made to need to belong, we're made to need each other, we're made to be our best selves when we are in relationship with other people. Like we're created for it. But we talked about this idea of something a little bit deeper than just a group based on what school you go to or whether or not you play an instrument. And we talked about something called the tr a tribe. And a tribe is a group of people who are bound together because they share a story. Like think about your family is kind of like a tribe. You guys share a story of where you came from. You guys share a story of traditions and things like that. Your friends can be like a tribe because you share stories of how you met each other and secrets and things that you like to do together. And and it's a little bit deeper than just, oh, we have the same kind of phone or something. And so we talked about this idea of the tribe of the one, this tribe of Jesus Christ, this tribe of God. And what this tribe is bound together by is a story that God so loved the world, he sent his son Jesus Christ here to show us God's unconditional love for all people for all time everywhere. And everyone who's a part of this tribe, who's included in this group, has this story that binds them together and holds them all as one. But what's really interesting about the tribe of the one is even though we all belong to the same tribe, we all are part of the story of Jesus Christ, doesn't mean that we all suddenly look alike, that we act the same, that we have the same beliefs, we have the same backgrounds, that we become like this same cookie cutter person. In fact, what's so interesting about the tribe of the one is that it embraces and celebrates diversity. All people from everywhere are welcomed into the story of Jesus Christ and differences can be celebrated in that way. But I don't know about you, but when I look around my life right now, I don't see differences being celebrated. Like, I don't know about you guys, but have you turned on social media recently and noticed division rather than unity? Noticed anger rather than celebration? I mean, there are so many polarizing situations going on around us right now. Have you noticed them? I mean, think about it this way. We have these extreme conflicts about George Floyd. We've got Black Lives Matter. All Lives Matter. Blue Lives Matter. We have righteous protests or are they violent riots? We have politics, which is Trump, which is Biden. Are you red? Are you blue? Are you a Dem? Are you Republican? Are you liberal? Kanye? And then we've got this coronavirus. Is it real? Is it a hoax? Is it being used for political agenda? And masks, do they help? Do Are they necessary? Is it all part of something to control us? Is this how we show we have care and compassion for other people? A vaccine, will it be made? Will you take it? Are stats real? Are stats garbage? Are lives more important than money? Or do we need to get started on the agenda, on, on, the, on the economy? I mean, there's just so many differences out there right now. So many people with so many different beliefs and politics and just so much tension. And have you tried to disagree with someone recently? Like, have you tried commenting on somebody's social media post to like disagree or offer another opinion? Heaven forbid. You immediately get labeled in this like us versus them situation. I've had so many people on my social media that say things like, if you believe this, unfollow me. Don't bother commenting on this unless you're with me and you agree with me. Or calling all these people who think this must be racist, all the people who think this must be wrong, or other just horrible names. And it doesn't feel like celebrating diversity. It feels like villainizing someone who might look different from you. But the truth is the tribe of the one, the people who belong to that story of Jesus Christ are called to live differently. This tribe is called to have each other's back, to be trusted, to respect, to listen, to learn, and to celebrate and embrace each other. We are called to treat each other differently, even in our differences. So there's this, um, 
verses in uh, John, which is a book of the Bible, and it's recording Jesus' prayer. And this is like days before he's going to go be falsely arrested and crucified. So, I mean, the things he's going to pray about that day seem really important. And he happens to be praying to the people, part of this tribe of the one, the followers, the people who believe in the story of Jesus Christ. The prayer is for us. And this is what he has to say after saying, this is who I'm praying for. He says, now I'm departing from this world and they're going to stay here, but I'm coming to you, O Holy Father. You've given me your name and now I ask you protect them by the power of your name so they will you be united just as we are. He's like, these people, part of this movement, God, I pray that they would be united. Isn't that interesting? Days before he's going to be arrested, he's praying for us to be united. But then Jesus goes on to tell us why it's so important that we do stay as one, that we do stay unified in this tribe of the one. And he goes on and he says, I'm praying not only for these disciples, not just the dudes that are alive right now, but for all who will ever believe in me because of this message. I pray that they will also be one, just like you and I are, just like Jesus and God are one. I pray that they would be that unified, like you are in me, Father, and I am in you. May they be in us so, so that the world will believe you sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me so they can be one like we are. I want them to be unified so that may they experience such perfect unity that the world will know you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. The tribe of the one is not made to look exactly the same all together. In fact, it actually embraces and celebrates and encourages diversity of people. People who are different can belong to the tribe of the one because they can be part of the story of Jesus Christ. But we are called to treat each other differently in our differences, meaning different than the world treats us. When we look around and we see anger and division and hate and name calling, the tribe of the one says, no, we're going to treat each other differently than that, even when we're different. We're going to actually respect each other. We're gonna listen, we're gonna be kind. We might even learn something from each other and we are gonna celebrate and embrace our diversity because when the world sees our unconditional love for each other in the tribe of the one, they see God's unconditional love for them.